All right, what's up, my friends? Welcome to 10 New Brews. That's right, the show where um, I build 10 new decks with a brand new set. Innistar Crimson Vows here. We're playing 10 decks, standard. Best of one, five games each. This is this is brew number two. You miss any brews, all the way up on YouTube, of course. Check those out. And my article on CoolStuffInc.com tomorrow will have all my deck lists, all my thoughts on each, and everything you ever wanted to know. CoolStuffInc.com. Deck number two is Snow Red. And this is a deck that has probably the least amount of new cards, but is completely centered around... One of the cards I think is really, really awesome in the set, in Chandra, Dress to Kill. Dress to Kill, just like me, just like me. The Mana Planeswalker, three loyalty, plus one to add a red and deal one to your, your opponent or a Planeswalker. Plus one to exile top card to your library. If it's red, you can cast it this turn, which is insane. And then an ultimate, you can read it yourself. I'm not going to read it on, on your time. So our, our plus one to draw a red spell, right? So our entire deck, we have 14, 16, 17. We have 40 red cards and 20 lands. Important to note that Smashing and Hazard kind of work into our mana base that are also red cards, which is really cool. And um, what else are we doing here? So Chandra wants us to play a lot of red cards. It wants us to play a low mana curve, and it wants us to play a lot of cards that cost one. Because the best thing you can do with Chandra is play Chandra, make a red, frostbite your creature, say go. Very similar play pattern to Chandra Torch of Defiance. Uh, you know, Chandra, add two red, abrade your creature, because now you're playing a Planeswalker, and it's defending itself directly while still going up, which is awesome. So, super, super awesome. So, Chandra, I think, is going to be amazing. Pump for Chandra. And we have kind of an aggressively burn deck here. You got some cheap creatures in Pit Fighter. We got Bloodthirsty Adversary, which creates flashback burn spells. Flame Channeler. A lot of like, good burn adjacent cards. Um, but the big thing we're trying out here is we're playing a couple Boomers, and we're playing Tundra Fumarol, a card that never really got took off, but kind of a suit one, honestly. Red Red 1. Four damage for creature or planeswalker. Four is a pretty big, pretty, pretty important number. Add a colorless for each snow spent to play this. So this can easily pay for itself back almost immediately. And the goal is to funnel that mana into Moonveil Regent or to funnel that mana into an activation of Den of the Bugbear. Um, it can also go into face saving as well. So we're trying to like keep our curve low for Chandra, but we're also drawing a lot of cards with Chandra, drawing cards with Flame Channeler. We can pump mana into, into Bloodthirsty Adversary also. So we have a, a decent amount of mana sinks for our Fumarole to try and get that big tempo swing, as well as having the card advantage of Moonvale and Chandra and stuff like that too. So this is deck number two, and we're going to jump right into the games here. Brought to you by Colas Apparel. Colas Apparel, that shop. Promo code GYM, 10, 10% off your order. Get your Colas shirts. The best magic shirts out there. Mad comfortable. The most, the best designs. Uh, just good stuff. Call us, Parallel Shop. Again, promo code GYM10. 10% off your order. My shirts are on there, too. You can buy some Pile Driver merch, as well as everything else. Tons of great shirts, tons of great hoodies, stickers, you name it, they got it. Call us, Parallel Shop. Promo code GYM10. 10% off your order. Call us, Parallel Shop. Lala, resub. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. All right. Den of the Bugbear. Spike Field Hazard. Channeler, Fumarole, Moonvale on the draw. We can keep this. We can keep this. Flame Channeler was a card that I was really impressed with when I played it in the, uh, ooh, drew one drop. We're still going to play our Hazard, I think. Played it in the, uh, the Boros Burn deck from the last 10 new brews. Deck never really caught on, but Sculptor of Winter. All right, so we draw a land, which is sweet. Um, we're going to Den, though. We, uh, we might want to just play the Fire here and play around turn three Chariot, even though I'd love to cast it with our Flame Channeler. Uh, all right, prediction time. Place your bets, predictions. I missed it, sorry. Place them now. Place them now. We play Channeler here, and they have Chariot, where it's like in huge trouble. So, I'm just going to play the Fire and play the One Drop. Not ideal. Not ideal, but... Mad, reset. Thanks so much. Fumarole is Snow, so it makes Snow Mana correct. Sculptor of Winter, sure. Sculptor of Mountain, Adversary. Uh, Alright, I mean, we're not going to... Uh, we're not going to Fumarole this 2-2, so... Just gonna attack for two and see if they block and then cast the flame channeler. We've obviously drawn two non snow lands. We had to play this hazard as a lamb, which is a little awkward, but. Alright, five mana for a Ren and seven, which is only gonna make a 4 4, which is actually insane for us. So, couldn't ask for a better sequence here. Um, unfortunately, we can't use the mana from Fumarol, or can we? No, we can't. Uh, we get to do four damage to this, attack the Ren and seven. Uh, we get a mana. Doesn't really matter. You can't really use it. You drew Dry Snowlands, but it's fine. So transform this. One car was floating. Can't use it. Attacking. Pretty good turn for us. Pretty good turn. I think a little greedy by our opponent. I'm to make a 5-5, five, five, but... 
We're in seven again. Sure. It's fine. We're at 15. We have Frostbite. Um, draw another land. Okay, so... We can, like, Frostbite, trigger this, try and draw a card off this. This card's... Uh, I, I like this card so much. Let's, um... This is only for two. Maybe we'll just kill Ren. Kill Ren and pop a top card and see what, what couple of turns up. So, a Bobby Flame gets a counter. Then I can remove the counter and... Exile top card with library. Most of our cards cost one or two, so cool. Land, perfect. And then, as far as just playing an adversary here and naked and just attacking, that seems pretty bad for us. We're just going to say go here. This is definitely an aggressive red deck, but we can grind, too. A lot of, a lot of card draw on this deck. A lot of card draw. They got 6 6, but. Inscription of Abundance. That's pretty gross. Alright, so they kicked it, they pumped the thing, fought the thing. Gain six life. Pretty bad turn for us. Pretty bad turn, but it's alright. It's alright. Uh, no blocks. We can adversary back a fumarole. Been away a while, but here is something you can't understand. Here is something you can't understand. How about I could just kill a germ? Alright, so we can adversary here, fumarole, kill the four four attack. They can swing back at the Haven, put us to two. It's kind of gross. Um, I'm going to do that, though. Unfortunately, we won't get any snow mana off of the Fumarole, but it's still pretty good. The last card is a, uh, what's it called? A uh, Snake Veil or Deb, but it definitely isn't, so. Why is our, our opponent's Soren Avatar hitting on me? Um, I don't know. Maybe you should, uh, maybe you should respond. Maybe you should respond. So, Fumarole, deal four. Yes, that here. On tap forest, sure. I think we're gonna... Uh, hmm. We could swing with the, with the Pit Fighter. They're almost guaranteed to fire up the Haven and attack. I think I want to just jump block with the Pit Fighter. Our hand's pretty good. We have the Moon Veil ready to go also. Uh, Moon Veil, of course, is discard and then draw. Or spell we cast, so there you go. State attack. Oh, Lord, it's 10 new brews time. Oh, Lord, we coming. All right, so they get to uh, do that. Ugh, great draw. Great draw by them. So Moon Veil, if you play a spell, you discard your hand. If you do, draw a card. So we can go, like, Moon Veil, Pit Fighter, draw. I don't even want to do that. Uh, few fumarol fumarol uh moonvale i guess just pit fighter we're not gonna draw i'm not gonna discard i'm not gonna discard adversary and draw random cards so play this uh, decline just say go Pretty, pretty rough one. The troll was a really good draw there. Just a trampling threat's pretty good. Let's see if we can't grind through this here. A command, join the record. Article tomorrow, coolstuffinc.com. We'll have everything. Article tomorrow, literally will be up in, you know, less than 18 hours, something like that. We'll have all the records, all my thoughts on every deck, all the deck lists, everything you could ever want. Everything you could ever want. Coolstuffinc.com tomorrow. All right, so we're going to go to four here and uh, hope Moonvale Ridge can draw us a lot of cards next turn. So trade here, chump here, take four. Things to flashback right now are Frostbite and Play of Fire, which are not quite good enough. We draw a Royal Eruption. Uh, that's awkward. Um, doesn't actually kill anything. Play the Bloodthirsty Adversary. We can kick it, but not really for much value. Because everything is they haven't have played anything small yet. Thanks for resub reach. Mono red smork. I'm just gonna cast the adversary as a two-two and just draw a card. Discard draw, I think. Unfortunately they got this, they got some big boomers here. And uh we're gonna draw a land, obviously, <laughs> sure. Uh alright, now we're gonna pay. We need to draw up this thing too, so let's play the uh I want to scry or no? I couldn't put a land in between that. Yeah, I'll just nugs them. 
Nugia. Discard my hand, draw a card. It's a flame channeler. Tough. Tough spot. Tough spot. I think we're just going to be a little behind here. Now we can trade the Moonveil with the Troll and then Chump Block again, but the 7-7 seven, seven is just too big. Typically, 7-7s seven, seven tend to be a, a problem for mono red decks, you know, historically. Um, yeah. Another 4-4. Four, four. I think they got... Oh, uh, man, a land, too. Gross. All right. They got us. Oh, one. Oh, one. I, you know, I would love to play against some more interesting decks, but unfortunately, it just, it just is what it is with no early access event. So, uh, so we're on one. There's, there's Soren again. Soren's, Soren's looking at you. Hi, how you doing? All right. Um, we're going to keep this. Sand's fine. Not yet, Brave. That's going to be a lot of work. it would be a lot of work. Rock, Fall, Veil. Okay. Uh, let's play, play the old Pit Fighter here. The old pit fighter. Jago Pup with that's upside. What a time to be alive. There we go. Now our opponent's playing some cool stuff. We got Naya something over here. And uh It's a 2-2? Yeah, we're gonna kill it. We could like try and wait for Channeler, but we could we drew a one drop, so let's go play the fire, kill this, play play pit fighter attack. Sora wants to pour himself a tall glass in me. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't, honestly? Right, another aspirant, and we draw a bloodthirsty adversary. Um, we have Fumarole to kill it now, so play a channeler. So let's attack. Play channeler, play tap land, so I go. Set up a Fumarole next turn, we draw a land, we can re recast a different spell also. So play channeler. Play smash into land. There was some tension between I wanted to play spell lands for more red cards for Chandra, and there's like burn spells for channeler, but also they're not snow lands for Fumarole, so a little tension there for sure. A little tension there for sure. Again, these decks are not tuned deck lists. These are all these are all first drafts. You know, first try at trying out the new cards. They're gonna cathartic pyre, my creature, and Grover, Luminar Gasper, and kind of annoying. Um I mean now we can just like we could fumarole into Channeler, which is like not super ideal. Because we're doing, we're doing it backwards sort of, but I think it's just like fine. Just tempo wise, so. If I wait one more turn, I could try and flash back with the adversary. But it might be too big to kill, though. Yeah. They're just mana screwed also. It's not very fun, but... Alright, so... Not only is their avatar Soren, their name is Slightly Erect. Yeah. Slightly. Only slightly. Only slightly. Haven't drawn Chandra yet. They didn't draw any lands. What are you gonna do? One on one. We'll take it. Book it. Book it. Chandra, where art thou? Where are they? All right. So there we are. Let's keep pit fighting all day. All day. Paladin class. Okay. We frostbite in two. This is a nice hand. This is, this is like the, 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 the nut draw here, honestly. Turn one, one drop. Turn two, flame channel. Or turn three, Chandra frostbite. That's nice. That is nice. Double paladin class. Okay, so good news, bad news. Bad news is, can't cast frostbite. Good news is, we drew a one drop anyway, so. Chandra, dressed to kill. Yeah, I'm basically a Deal one, make a red. Cast pit fighter. So far, Chandra, as advertised. Really, really good. Really, really good. Brutal Cathar. Oh my god, this is going to be a blowout. Alright. Uh, Moonveil. Alright, we're going to exile top guard. We could make a red here and cast Moonveil, but we don't want to do that. I want to cast Channeler and Frostbite. Trying to hit a... Let's see what our top guard is. I don't know. It's a mountain. Sure. Come on, so, Channeler... Frostbite. Get back Channeler. Flip Channeler. Attack. And, uh... Game's kind of over. Game's kind of over. 
Cup Paladin classes that didn't do anything and a Brugathar. I mean, this is like a top, top, top tier hand for us, you know? Um, would like to hand it a little better, honestly, so we can have a little more of an exciting game, but... Look at our top card. Yeah, sure. Look at our top card here. Top card of our library. It is a Bloodthirsty Adversary. Don't want to cast that or just cast the Moonvale Regent. I don't want to cast the Moonvale Regent, honestly. Eh, whatever. They're just dead. One and two. One, uh, two and one. Two and one. Chandra shows up and takes it down. Two and one. Chandra. Chandra. This is a big, big game, folks. Win this one, we get to lock it in. Lock in those channel points. All right, so we're going to play our adversary here. Obviously, we want to kick this card, you know, but, like, it's just a 2-2 a two -two haste for two, which is also just fine. Could be worse. You know, it could be worse. Jund, a little Magda Brazen Outlaw. It's a brazen thing for them to do. So I'm going to toast that one. Get him for a deuce. Moonbale's hanging out. Fine hand, nothing, nothing incredible here. Just a reasonable hand. A little Jund action. Bar, whoop, whoop. I didn't build a bar class deck. I'm sorry, everyone. I didn't build a bar class deck. I'm sorry. I know. I'm sorry. I should build a bar class deck. But, uh, they're classy. They're classier than I am. That's for sure. Here we go. What do you got for me, bar class? Let's do it. I want you. To, no. Uh, I wanted more than that. Come on. I wanted more than that. Alright, uh, land. I mean, they're, they're just dead though, right? Like, and, uh, I should stop doing things to let them do what they do. I mean, I think they're dead literally no matter what I do, so. Uh, I mean. Alright. Oh, they're not even gonna try. They're not even gonna try. Alright, three and one. Three and one. Listen, listen. They're out there. They're they're gaming. All right. We appreciate that. We appreciate that they're gaming. Rules insane. Chandra again. Oh, we did. We drew a one of Kessid Wolf Rider. I wanted like a fifth one drop that was also a uh, mana sink for later in the game. So uh, that's what we're playing. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. We have Chandra. Ban removal too strong. One two menace. One two menace. Cemetery Gatekeeper Mono Red. I think the card's very good. Uh, but I don't think it's, uh, necessarily good for this deck, because we're a little more grindy. Alright, so, uh, pay three. Really gotta draw a land next turn. We draw a land next turn, we're golden. Um. It's a pack leader. It's a ranger class. We draw a land here, we get Chandra into the play with fire. Oh! Oh, God, Chandra's good. Oh, Chandra's good. Oops. Nugget. Yeah. Play of fire. Flip. Attack. Oh, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Double royal. Ready to rock and roll, too. Haven. Yeah, sure. Haven means no troll. Troll is the best card against us by a lot, so. Oh, that's dead. Oh, that's dead. Oh, add a mana. Nug ya. Channel ya. Royal ya. Don't you. They can't even snakeskin bail. They can't even do it. They can't even do it. Dress to Thrill, let's go. Wow. Wow. 4 1, folks, book it. Book it. Blizzard Brawl, alright. That's a good, that's a good sequence. That's a good sequence. Uh, they're still dead, though. Moonvale. Alright, let's look at our top card. We're casting Royal for sure. Play Fire, okay. I'm gonna Royal this. Nug them. And uh, now our body to flame. Our top card's Fumarole. We can bottom that. Top card's Fumarole. Oh, that, that's not. I mean, now we have we have two counters on embodiment of flame. We have Chandra in play. Moonvale in hand. We got all the gas in the world. All the gas in the world. Blizzard Brawl again? Sure. Also, Chandra can ping off less few points too, so. Six. What's the ultimate do? I'm actually going to read the ultimate now. It's not five cards. Your library you may cast red spells on the this turn. Whenever you, get, whenever you cast a red spell, and it will damage a target. Right? So I'm not ready to cast a spell. Okay. 
That's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I said. Um, now we're going to just... Uh, we have a Menacer playing Moonvale. Yeah, we just mug him, I guess. No, oh, I guess I gotta use that. What else? You're up. Beat all of these things. Everything I have kills you. Everything I have kills you. The rank wasn't great this game, but it wasn't bad. Triple pack leader, double, 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 double blizzard brawl. Ranger class. That that's that's that is not the winning play. Uh, that is not the winning play. Attack Chandra. Okay. What shirt is this? The Mana Flood shirt. Payback's gonna be spicy. Woo! Four and one. Now we're talking four and one here on ten new birds. Snow red. Snow red. Yes, red. Not snow red. Yes, red. What we got here? Let's hop on over to our untap.gg. Take a little look at what how things uh, how things planned out for us. And uh, deck felt pretty sweet. You know, I would love another good one drop, but the real thing is Chandra was just we built the deck around Chandra, and Chandra was really really good. Uh, every time I had to play Chandra, add a red and cast a spell, it was insane. Fumarols. Eh, the jury's out on Fumarol, but um, Flame Channel works great. I love the burn spells. I think there is like a reasonable uh, sort of burn-esque strategy. I mean, we did a Boros burn deck on last 10 new brews, uh, but um, this time went mono-red because we have Chandra, and Chandra obviously you kind of wants you to play mono-red. Kind of demands it, honestly, because you want to play all red cards. Uh, but yeah, all in all, uh, super sweet. Overall went 4-1, and one, which is great. Oops. We lost to a green deck, um, which is reasonable, honestly, which is pretty reasonable. And... Um, Pretty simple little run there. Pretty simple little run. And new brews. Full article and deck list will be on my, my article, coolstuffinc.com, tomorrow. Uh, it's brew number two of ten. Number three is coming up. YouTube folks, love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Do the things. Y'all great.